When it comes to marketing, there's a lot of pressure to present yourself or your company as perfect so that you attract customers. But if you become so obsessed with being seen as perfect, you could end up compromising the very things that make you unique. If you're looking for love and you look like her, or you look like him, you'll find success at Amy's Dating Agency. And if you don't look like them, well, we'll see what we can do. If you're looking for your perfect mate, you have to put out an image of perfection, whilst being authentic, obviously. So let's get started on your profile. Now, obviously, you want to show that you are successful, obviously. Fortunately, Pinterest and Facebook are awash with routines of very successful people. Let's see how they apply to your life. Sounds good, let's go. Do you leap out of bed at 5 a.m. every day filled with gratitude? Sometimes. What was the last entry in your gratitude journal? Sunday, the 21st of May, 1995. On the way back from the cottage today, Dad shot a rabbit and we took it home, but in the car it started squeaking. It was horrible. I'm not eating rabbit pie again. Right. What about clean eating? Do you think you could find a lot to say about how you only eat whole food in its most natural state, so avoiding processed foods, refined sugars, gluten, grains, dairy? Sure. What about mindfulness? Do you ever just let yourself go into a meditative state? Sometimes. Hello darkness, my old friend I've come to talk with you again What's the f***ing ball? Ball! What's... How about affirmations? Do you spend a good five minutes looking at your reflection saying I am attractive, I am beautiful, I am trying my best Wow, you look like shit Okay, so we might be low on profile content but why don't we just get your picture up there and, and uh, see what we can do What's this? I just took a photo and practiced my affirmations. I am beautiful, I am attractive, I'm trying my best. I'm sorry, but you will never find someone. You're nowhere near perfect enough. Well, they were suckers, because I did find someone. I got myself a banjo boy. Someone who also knows how important it is to be yourself, to be completely, irrefutably original. Yes, marketing is about making a good impression, but you don't just want to copy what other people are doing because it looks like they're doing great. If you're not the absolute best in your industry, that's fine. Do people love what you do? Then work hard to tell that story. While you don't have to be the best to be successful, we should obviously always be striving to be great. Okay, what is it? It's a battery powered can opener. Cool. It's shit. What? It's really poor quality. It's awful. Uh, it doesn't open any cans, but I got about 30,000 imported from China that I need to sell, and so I thought you could just write some shit hot copy and we could shift them. I don't really work like that. Fair enough. What about this? What is it? It's a uh, pineapple wearing sunglasses. Is this something people want? No. No, no one wants one of these. Um, but you've got a bunch imported from China that you need to shift, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Strive to be great, but don't worry about being perfect. Because remember, some things that seem to be perfect aren't always what they appear to be. Whoa. What's she doing here? Jessica Fletcher, I invited her here for the weekend. Why? Why not? Oh, come on, she's just in there quietly typing. Although she's only just started. She wasn't writing anything this morning. She said she had writer's block, but looks like she's got a pretty good idea now. <laughs> oh, that hurts. Jessica. <laughs> Hello, Jessica Fletcher. 